Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud channel. In this module, we will talk about exam AZ104, Microsoft Azure Administrator Certification. Certification details. You have to take one exam that is Microsoft Azure Administrator to end the certification. Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate. Candidates for this exam should have subject matter expertise, implementing, managing, and monitoring an organization's Microsoft Azure environment. Responsibilities for an Azure Administrator include implementing, managing, and monitoring identity, governance, storage, compute, and virtual network in a cloud environment, plus provision, size, monitor, and adjust resources when needed. Exam fee and schedule. Exam fee 165 US dollars, but price based on the country in which the exam is proctored. And you can schedule SC104 exam with Passan VUE. Skills, me skills measure. What are the areas covered in AZ104 exam? Manage Azure identities and governance, implement and manage storage, deploy and manage Azure compute resources, configure and manage virtual networking, monitoring, monitor and backup Azure resources. Let's talk about each topic. Manage Azure identities and governance. Azure Administrator exam has 15 to 20% of this manage Azure identities and governance topic. Manage Azure Active Directory objects. Learn about create users and groups, manage user and group properties, manage device settings, perform bulk user updates, manage guest accounts, and configure Azure Active Directory join. Manage role-based access control. Learn about create a custom role. There are already some built-in roles in Azure. So learn about built-in roles and learn to create a custom role and provide access to Azure resources by assigning roles, subscriptions, resource group, resources like virtual missions, disk, and manage multiple directories. Next one, manage subscriptions and governance. Configure Azure policies and learn how to build custom policies. Configure resource logs, how to apply the resource log. You can apply read only and delete. Learn about configuring resource logs and learn about uh, apply tags and create and manage resource groups moving resources and deleting resource groups or removing resource groups, manage subscriptions, and learn about uh, cost management. Next one, implement and manage storage. Azure Administrator exam has 10 to 15% of this implement and manage storage topic. Manage storage account. Learn, configure, network access to storage accounts. Storage types are blob, table, queue, and file share. So learn about configure network access to storage accounts, create and configure storage accounts, generate shared access signature, manage access keys, and implement Azure storage replication. Manage data in Azure storage. To learn about Azure import export and how to export from Azure job and how to import into Azure job. Install and use Azure Storage Explorer that is a desk desktop tool. You can install that 
Azure Storage Explorer, where you can access storage accounts from the uh, desktop too. And learn copy data by using AZ Copy. Next one, configure Azure Files and Azure Blob Storage. Create an Azure File Share, create and configure Azure File Sync Service, where you can uh, sync the files from your computer or from on-premises into Azure. You can sync all your storage uh, services or you can your files into Azure. Next one, deploy and manage Azure compute resources. Microsoft Azure Administrator exam has 25 to 30% of these deploy and manage Azure computer resource, resources. Configure virtual machines for high availability and scalability. Learn about configure high availability and de deploy and configure scale sets. Next one, automate deployment and configuration of virtual machine. So learn about the ARM templates and deploy from how to deploy resources from template. Using Azure Resource Manager, you can deploy multiple resources. Next one, create and configure virtual missions. Learn about configure Azure Disk Encryption. More virtual missions from one resource group to another, manage virtual mission sizes, and add data disk, and configure networking, and redeploy virtual missions. Uh, it means resizing. If you want to resize virtual missions, once you deploy virtual mission, you can stop the virtual mission, and then you can add, you can resize it, and then start the virtual mission. So you will have some lab a simulated lab in this AG104 exam. And create and configure web apps. Learn about create uh, and configure app service. Create and configure app service plans. Next one, configure and manage virtual networking. Azure Administrator exam has 30 to 35 percent of these uh, configure and manage virtual networking topic. Implement and manage virtual networking, create and configure VNet peering, and learn about configure private and public IP addresses, network routes, network interface, subnets, and virtual network. You will have some uh, lab like how to create a VNet peering and how to create a public IP address, how to create a load balancer. So just prepare well on this uh, VNet, uh, VNet network, uh, VNet peering topic. Next one, configure name resolution. Learn, configure Azure DNS, custom DNS settings, and private or public DNS zones. Next one, secure access to virtual networks. Learn how to create security roles and associate a network security group to a subnet or network interface. Deploy and configure Azure Firewall and Azure Bastion service. As for monitor and backup Azure resources, Microsoft Azure Administrator exam has 10 to 15% of is monitor and backup the Azure resources topic. Monitor resources by using Azure Monitor. You can analyze metrics across sub subscriptions using Azure Monitor and learn how, uh, how to configure log analytics, implement a log analytics workspace, workspace and configure diagnostic settings and learn how to query and analyze logs, create a query, and save a query to the dashboard and set up alerts and actions. When you create virtual missions, if you want to receive alerts when virtual mission is shut down or when virtual mission CPU says above 80% or 70%, you can receive alerts. You can set up those using uh, uh, alerts. So learn about how to set up alerts and actions. 
create and test alerts, create action group, action group, view alerts in Azure Monitor, and analyze alerts across subscriptions. Then implement and backup, implement backup and recovery. Learn about Azure backup and and recovery service wall and learn configure and review backup reports and perform backup and restore operations by using azure backup service and learn how to create a recovery service wall and use soft delete to recall azure virtual missions and learn create and configure backup policies in this module we call all az104 topics if you have any question or concern, please post it in the comment section and prepare well. Good luck in your exam. Thank you.